Ooh, I'm glad I didn't pick her. So before I get to who Juan Pablo was talking about, although you probably already know, I need to just say that the internet is buzzing and it's pretty much filled with extreme dislike for this particular Bachelor. And it's all because the sexiest season of The Bachelor came to a close last night with the finale episode. So just a warning though, major spoilers for the ABC show are ahead, including who Juan Pablo picked. Again, if you missed the memo. All right, so the sexy Venezuelan bachelor gave out his final rose, but there were some crazy events leading up to it that had lots of people talking. Here's the breakdown. Basically, Juan Pablo introduced the final two girls, Claire and Nikki, to his family, and they also got to meet his five-year-old daughter, Camila. We have to say, things didn't exactly get off to a great start. Even Juan Pablo's family told the girls that he was argumentative and that he ends relationships at the first sign of trouble. But this really didn't seem to phase the gals at all. The real drama started when Claire confronted Juan Pablo about a comment he made during their last one-on-one -on -one date when they were on a helicopter without any mics or cameras. Apparently, it was pretty explicit and sexual in nature, and this comment led Claire to believe that Juan Pablo had only one thing on his mind when it came to her. Of course, The Bachelor did a good job reassuring her that he has deeper feelings than that, and he even talked about having kids with her. However, Juan Pablo ended up giving his final rose to Nikki and not Claire, which had Claire very furious. She even told him this. I'll tell you what, mm -hmm. I thought I knew what kind of man you were. Okay. What you just made me go through, mm -hmm. I would never want my children having a father like you. Okay. Ouch. And it's not like his final moments with Nikki were that much more romantic. He did not end up proposing, but he did tell her that he didn't want to lose her. Here's a clip from that magical moment. I'm not 100% sure that I want to propose to you. But at the same time, I'm 100% sure that uh, I just don't want to let you go. So thanks to ABC for giving fans of The Bachelor an immediate update with the After the Final Rose episode. Let's take a look at where this happy couple is now. How are the two of you doing? Great. I think we're doing great. So you love her? I'm not going to answer that question to you. I don't, I don't get it. I don't I, get it. I would like to say you guys are in love, but it's so awkward because we're, it's like we can't have a conversation. I respect you. I respect you, Chris, honestly. Nikki, I respect your opinion. Nikki, how do you feel Tell sitting me. here listening to all this? Honestly, I feel like there's people that have sat up here before and said they're in love and everyone wants to believe it, but but they don't. You know, it's, it just comes down to it and like this is a real relationship to us. Like we're taking this very seriously. And there you have it. Oh, and in case you hadn't heard, former Juan Pablo contestant Andy is set to be the new Bachelorette. So everyone, what did you think of last night's finale? And do you think that Juan Pablo and Nikki are the perfect match? Get the debate going in the comment section below and click right here if you want to check out the latest episode of our new show, Totally Clever. And also guys, hit that subscribe button so you can stay updated on everything entertainment news. I'm your host, Dana Ward, and I'll see you next time.